Okay, so we're going to be considering a thin plastic rod bent into a quarter circular arc of radius, capital R, with center at the origin as indicated in the figure. The rod carries a uniformly distributed negative charge, negative Q, and is located in the XY plane. Answer the following questions to determine the electric field at a point on the Z axis. So for the first part, we're going to be considering an infinitesimal slice of the bent rod with angular length delta theta located at an angle theta from the right end of the rod as indicated in the figure. So, so it's asking us to find the position vector r that points from center of this slice to the observation location 0, 0, z on the z-axis. So all I did right here is just create this vector r that is the vector from the origin to where we're getting this electric field from. So how you find that vector is you do the observation location, which is the which is the origin, minus the source location, which is the part of the rod. So for the, the second line, we're going to look at uh, 0, 0, z minus r cosine theta, which is the horizontal component, otherwise known as the x component, comma r sine theta which is the vertical component and comma zero. So that just equates to negative r cosine theta comma negative r sine theta comma z. And we're going to go down and determine an expression for the charge of the slice delta q in terms of the infinitesimal angular length delta, delta theta and relevant known variables. So all you have to do here is say delta Q equals the charge on the arc, which is actually negative Q. Always remember to read, read very carefully up there, which is negative Q times delta theta over pi over two. And pi over two is basically, is basically the length of the arc. Okay. This is in red, I apologize for that. So now we're going to derive an expression for the vector electric field delta E of the slice of the rod at the observation location, 0, 0, z, in terms of the given variables and known constants. So basically what we're going to do here is take the electric field equation, which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q over magnitude of r squared times r hat, and we're going to break that down into a a derivable, derivable one. So that's why we have a DE and a DQ. Then we're going to go over here, we're going to find our magnitude, which is just taking the square root of all the squares of the components of R. And we're going to simplify that. And then we're going to find R hat, which is just R divided by the magnitude. Okay, now we're going to bring back over here, and we're going to expand this top function here, and we're going to say DE which is the electric field at this specific part of the arc is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times the whole charge times this little slice of the arc over pi over 2 which is the whole arc length and then we're gonna put in there r hat okay and then we're gonna simplify that down basically since we don't have any numbers we're just gonna have to simplify it in terms of variables so basically, we're going to take that down. You see on the left there, we simplify that to q d theta over 2 pi epsilon naught, because the pi over 2, you bring the 2 on top, and then you cancel it out with the 4, four to make a 2. And then you can see in this line up here, we've canceled out uh, the square of the square root of r squared plus z squared. And we've combined the two bottoms of those fractions there to make r squared plus z squared quantity to the three halves. And then basically we're just going to simplify that out. And we're going to say dE is equal to negative Q. Remember that. Always read the directions and the problem very carefully. Negative Q d theta over 2 pi epsilon naught. And then we're going to put that r vector in there over that, over that denominator. And that is your slice is your slice of the electric field for that infinitesimal part of the rod at the observation location of zero zero z.